celebrating your failures, say what? Welcome to another episode of Motivation Monday, the place to be to feel good about yourself, feel great in your body, and go out into the world and be awesome. And today we're talking about celebrating your failures. New thing, new idea, new task for you guys. If you have heard me or been following me for a while, you know I always speak about celebrating your wins or keep of tr- keeping track of awesome things that people say about you, cool things that happen to you, things that you accomplish so that you can go back and reference them so that when times get hard, you'll have this folder of wins, this evidence that you're doing awesome work in the world and you'll have motivation to keep going. Now, my new thing is to celebrate your failures. Why? Because we want to normalize failing. Failure is the only way, the only way that we are going to be able to get to where we want to go. My new success marker for 2021 is just to show up and try. And that's because it is only through trying, it is only through putting in effort that we're going to be successful. That's the only way. Thomas Edison had a thousand experiments that he failed at before he invented the light bulb. When Sarah Blakely was growing up, Sarah Blakely is the founder of Spanx, and I read this story recently in a magazine article that she shared. Her father would celebrate her for every single failure that happened. So she would come home and she would say, oh, I tried out for the cheerleading squad and I sucked. And he would go, yes. You're a rock star, great job. And that's because he wanted her to be okay with failing. In our culture, I feel like we really demonize failing and we only acknowledge and, and, um, and admonish the people that are successful. If you fail, Matt, we don't care. But I want us to really celebrate failures because only through normalizing failing and through celebrating effort that we are going to grow as humans, we're going to have the confidence to try something new, and learning won't hurt so much. We won't be so afraid of being a beginner, and we'll have an advantage in that we'll wanna go out and we'll wanna fail because we've made it fun, and we're going to celebrate ourselves when we fail. So, go ahead and start keeping track of your, your failures. When you notice that you fail at something, pull out the pom-poms. Give yourself a little party, take yourself to lunch, do something awesome to make you feel good because we want to normalize failing. If you want more awesome content like this, sign up for my get your favorite app, get my favorite affirmations at the link in my bio. And I would love to know what's something that you're celebrating failing at. Comment it below. Let's normalize it and let's cheer each other on because that's the only way we're going to get better. I'm also doing something new, which is one-on-one business and marketing consulting. So if you want my help in learning how to get clarity on your business, learning how to set up content strategies and marketing systems that will work for you, send me a DM. You know where to find me. Have an awesome day.